Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're going to talk about my Ethereum mining rig components. There's many people that ask me on making a video about every component we used. So here it is. We're going to start off and tell you first that every component shown in the video will be in the description below. And it's really easy for you to go ahead and buy every component through the description. So you don't make mistakes, of course. So first of all, we have the GPUs. We use the Sapphire Nitro RX 470 4 GB graphics cards. They're from Radeon and they can hash up to 30.5 mega hashes per second, achieved by BIOS flashing and overclocking. Of course, you can go ahead and buy the RX 480 versions too, to have slight better performance, but we assume you try and go for the cheapest way. And that will be for the next build, we can do RX 480s or something. But now we go on to the PSU. I use the EVGA 1000 GQ 1000 watt power supply. It is semi-modular, so you can use the cables you need for your build and don't have too much wires going around it. And it also has an eco mode to save energy on low power usage. And that's also really good for Ethereum mining because we try to be as efficient as possible with energy. Next up we have the motherboard, the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. It supports 6 GPUs and has the LGA1150 socket. It can support up to 16GB of memory, but we only need 4. Next up we have the Intel Celeron G1840 or the Pentium G3250 because both CPUs are compatible but for people that want slightly faster performance on the system, go for the G3250. Because installing systems is faster and reloads and stuff, everything goes a little bit faster. So it's worth the slight more bucks on the budget. Next up we have the crucial DDR3 1600MHz 4GB RAM memory. You only need 4GB but mostly they come together but you can just buy one on every two rigs and you have two mining rigs with 4 gigabyte slots and that's also pretty good. Next up we have the PCIe 1X to 16X powered used USB 3.0 extender risers. These have a nice black finish, I really like them because the look of it is really good but it makes it so that you can put multiple GPUs on a single motherboard that doesn't support 16x slots on its own. Next up we have the almost final part, the PC-80X power supply button switch. It's a small button that serves as a replacement for on and off buttons of course on the motherboard because you need to be able to turn your miner on and off. So finally we have the Kingston SSD. It's 120 gigabytes, but it's more than enough for the specs that we need because you only need to run a operating system like Windows and the miner, maybe some other programs, but 120 gigabytes is enough for sure. It's only 50 euros at the moment, so it's pretty cheap for an SSD. And I think that was it for today. So if you still have questions about the mining components or something, or you want rec recommendations on building a mining rig, just comment it below and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.